vertebral surface and you can appreciate the formation of the basilar artery see the two vertebrals joining and forming the basilar there right on the ventral surface right the lateral aspect here gives origin to the rootlets of the which nerve trigeminal nerve very important the only cranial nerve which arises from the ventral surface of the pons is the trigeminal nerve and this trigeminal nerve if you see in intact specimen all right in good specimen it has two rootlets a motor root which is small and a large sensory root why because trigeminal nerve is basically a sensory nerve it's a mixed nerve but it contains mostly the sensory fibers all right so it has two rootlets because here you know this is broken this is a very old specimen so it's all mixed up but if you see in fresh specimen you will see right a lateral thin slender motor root and a thick sensory root what is this this is a landmark this origin of trigeminal nerve from the surface of the pons is a landmark now landmark for what where the pons ends and the middle cerebellar peduncle begins so it's a point of demarcation this attachment of the trigeminal nerve is a point of demarcation between the pons and the middle cerebellar peduncle so beyond or later to that would be the medial cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle and medial to that is the pons so it's a landmark or it's a demarcation point all right so that is the trigeminal nerve fibers emerging from the ventral surface of the pons what do you see on the dorsal surface see this is the dorsal surface of the pons you can see this is the rhomboid fossa right this is the floor of the fourth ventricle also known as the rhomboid fossa right this is the floor of the fourth ventricle also known as the rhomboid fossa it's rhomboid in shape divided into a upper triangular area and a lower triangular area so this upper triangular area or the upper triangular portion of this rhomboid fossa is contributed by the dorsal surface of the pons this is contributed by this upper triangular surface is contributed by the dorsal surface of the pons so what do you see look at this beautiful black thing what is this locus ceruleus look at this what is this locus ceruleus See that black linear line, right? This is the locus ceruleus. Okay, now can you see this linear black line there? Oh, that's locus ceruleus. Locus what? Locus ceruleus. C e r u l e. Locus ceruleus. Okay, guys, tell me. Did your physiology start? So now here, what do you see here in the upper triangular area? Okay, you see this. This is the dorsal median, dorsal median sulcus. This is the dorsal median sulcus. Lateral to that, you have the medial eminence. This elevation is known as the medial eminence. And lateral to that, you have the sulcus medial, which is not so clear, right? So the 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 locus ceruleus is the um upper and the rostral part of the right sulcus. on the rostral part of the sulcus medial. Oh, all right. So this ill-defined sulcus which you cannot make out, you know. So on the rostral end, rostral end of the sulcus limitans, the limitans has this locus ceruleus. All right. 